In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut a simple plywood scarf joint using a circular saw and a homemade jig. So this is the jig. Um, it's quite a simple setup really. It's just two pieces of wood joined together with a rail to guide the saw. Its primary functions really are this slightly angled back um, forward face in relation to the top face and this rail to guide the saw. So all it really does is form a jig so that you're able to cut along with the saw and the fact that this face is slightly angled back just inclines the blade here and that's what creates your taper on the end of the plywood. So to set it up you've really just got to um, cut the angle on the on the forward face so that it matches to the top face and that is relative to what angle you would like your scarf joint to be. In this instance that's a 10 to 1 angle. In order to set up your saw for a, a 10 to 1 angle for making the scarf jig you want to just get a scrap piece of wood put your square on one edge of it and draw yourself a line at 90 degrees and then to set your bevel gauge you just need to measure up by a factor of whatever your scarf is so if it's a 10 to 1 scarf 10 centimeters you can use 10 inches if you want if your bevel gauge is big enough and then just measure across by one centimeter so that's your 10 to 1 angle if you want a little bit more accuracy if you're finding those numbers a little bit too small to work with then you can just double the figures so you can go 20 to 2 instead And then get your bevel gauge and set that up to run from the baseline down there to either one of your points. Once that's set in place you can tighten that up. Then you can use that gauge to set up your table saw. or you can use it to set up your circular saw or track saw. And the only other thing then to consider is the height of this rail. I've done this fixed because I use the same saw every time, but you could make that adjustable um, so that you're able to alter the height. And all that does is that runs on this side of the base plate on my circular saw and positions the inside of the blade just slightly higher than the top face of the jig. The other thing that you'll need is a top rail and this is what will clamp your plywood down from the top and keep it nice and flat to the surface of the jig. This type of joint is quite susceptible to this plywood being flat so if it rides up at all you're going to end up cutting through the plywood at a different height and that's going to quite badly affect the, uh, the scarf joint. So these two pieces of wood want to be nice and parallel to each other so this is just a piece of pine that I've edged on the jointer to make sure it's nice and straight and it'll hold my workpiece down nicely. So you can see I've got quite a twisted piece of plywood here. So this is a good example of um, something that needs to be held down correctly with this top clamp. So to cut the scarf, all we need to do is line this up with the forward face of the jig or slightly back. Uh, the effect of moving the plywood further back from the front face is basically that you're going to thicken the the feathered forward edge of this plywood so if you're unsure about how the cut's going to come out it's best to start further away from the blade and then slowly move the board towards the blade with consecutive cuts um, so i'll set up for that and you can see the effect um, that that has because i'm cutting quite a short piece of plywood here i'm going to put another piece further on down the jig and that's just going to help me to balance out this top clamp board. If that wasn't on there, then it's not going to uh, clamp properly on the far end of this piece of plywood. And we want to make sure it's nice and flat to take that twist out. So another piece of plywood of the same thickness on the opposite end should help sort that out. So one thing to note with the top clamp is that it needs to be far enough away from the forward face to clear your saw blade. So we can just pop the saw on there and check that now. Probably want it 
fairly close to the saw blade so that it's holding this piece that we're working on down as best it can. But enough clearance there just to make sure we're not going to catch it and that's plenty in this instance. I tend to use a couple of these big F clamps for this which just means that they're nice and far out of the way when I'm cutting the scarf joint. Okay, so that's all clamped in place. You can see the plywood's down nice and flat. It's not riding up at either side, which is good. A lot of the time you'll probably want to move your saw guide out the way before you start, because it can catch quite easily on, uh, on a jig like this. And it's quite good to have uh, an in run to the piece of plywood. So I would tend to start the saw up away from the piece I'm actually looking to cut and then come into it um, just so that you're in a good position to make sure it's all held in place nicely. Another reason for this top clamp is that you want to make sure you've got both hands free for the saw. You certainly don't want to be trying to hold this in place and cut in one handed. You want to have both hands on the saw and keep nice firm pressure against that front face and against that bottom guide as well so that you can get a good even cut. So now we're all set up, we'll do a first cut on that and um, we'll see what it comes out like. So there's a little look at the first cut. As you can see, because we're slightly back from the front edge, we've got a bit of a step on the, uh, on the edge of the plywood there. So as this plywood comes further towards the front of the jig, this edge will eventually go to a fine feather. Um, so you can either cut the scarf a little bit further back like that, and then um, take it down manually, or we can move the plywood further forward and get a complete feathered edge. So we'll do that, I'll shift the plywood forward a little bit further and uh, take another cut and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so there's cut number two. So you can see we're down to a pretty finely feathered edge now. And um, that doesn't really want much work beyond that. You could um, you could clean it up slightly with a block plane if you like, but um, that's pretty much good to be joined now. So I'll cut the second piece of plywood and we'll see how the two join together. So you can see my saw just slightly lifted up there towards the end. So I've got a slightly thicker end to the scarf than the start. That's not a problem, you could just cut the scarf again. Um, if the jig's set up right, you can cut it as many times as you like to get the correct um, surface there. So there you can see our two scarf pieces of plywood. And that's roughly how our joint will go together. If you wanted to download a drawing that shows the dimensions of the scarf and jig that I'm using here, then uh, head to the video description below and I'll put a link in there which goes to my website so you can download that for free. If you're not already subscribed, then remember to hit that subscribe button below and you can keep up to date with any future projects I'm working on or other tips like this that I create videos for. So I hope you found the video useful and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers guys.